boys up everyone in today's video i'm going to be starting a pie game series and no no this ain't discord finally so in this pie game series i'm going to be telling you how to do the basics of pie game and then at the end of it we can make like a snake game or something like that so first up i'm going to be uh, telling you how to set up a scene in this video and then next video i'll tell you how to move um control the square and yeah so how we basically set up the scene is we're going to have to import pie game so make sure you install Pygame. You install Pygame by doing pip install Pygame. Once you have done that, you're just going to import Pygame and do pygame.init. And then we're just going to create a window. So we do this by doing win equals pygame.display.set mode. And then basically we're going to set the um, dimensions such as the X and Y. So we do this by doing um, 100 by uh, 500, I mean by 500. So it's easy to calculate some other stuff. And then um, we're also going to set a caption, so the name of it. So we do this by just doing pygame.display.setCaption. And then we, we can just call this sync layer. We can call it whatever you want. So I'm going to call it Sivo's, uh game. And then um, once we have done this, we have to create it. We have to create a for loop for the window. So basically how we do this is because if we plot right now, it's just going to open up and close. So how we do this is we're going to do run equals true and we're going to do while run we're going to do for event in pi game dot uh pi game dot event dot gear we're going to um do if event dot type is equal to uh pi game dot queer then we're just going to do run is equal to false then we're just going to do pi game dot quit like this and then basically what this do it will quit out the window so once we have done that we're also going to do under here pygame.display.update because we're going to be adding some other stuff so now if we just quickly play it it's going to pop up the window and it's going to say sevo's game and you can move this around and yeah and this has got a black background so we're going to make this background white and make it look a little bit better so let's do that so let's just create um, something up here a variable up here called white and let's just do brackets and let's make it white so 245 245 you have to use the RGB values. And then um, if we just do win.fill, and then we just put in white, just like that. It's going, and now if we play it, it's going to make the background white. And this display the update updates the win. So you can also use uh, functions. So you can use def function, and then you can call it. I'll show you how you do that. So if we just do def uh, background, and then we just do, um, uh, we just put in, win.fill uh, win.fill in here and then we just put win and then um if we just call this background and then we put in the win then if we play this it will still change the background color as you see here so yeah so basically win.fill we got to get the value of that and this puts the value um if you you should know how to do that if you know about functions but we're not going to use this right now because we don't need to as it's a little bit more advanced so we could just do win.fill and we'll just put white. Okay, now let's make the um, let's make the rectangle well the player. So we're gonna make sure you do this underneath the win.fill, otherwise it won't um go over it. So we're just gonna do player is equal to pi game dot display no not display dot draw dot rect as we're just gonna draw a um a square basically. And then we're gonna put in we're gonna draw on the window. And then we're going to um, give it a color. So we're going to give it the color red. So we're just going to do 25500, zero, zero, just like that. Um, that's anyway full screen. Doesn't matter. Uh, and then we're just going to space these out a bit. And then we're just going to put in the color here. So red. And then you're going to make another bracket. And in this bracket, we're going to put um, the X, the Y, the width, and the height. Okay, so basically, let's just put the values in. So X, uh, Y, width, and then let's put in the height. Now we're going to get the variables for this. So first, we're going to do X. We're going to basically, the X is the position where it's going to be like left to right. So this is going to be 250. So, and the Y is going to be um, up and down. So it's going to be 250, which it should be the center. And then we're going to do width. So the width of the, um, basically the size of the shape you're making. And we're just going to make a square. So we'll just do 20 and we we'll do the same thing with the height. Uh, 20. And now once we have done this, it should draw in the, the little red cube. 
Okay, so guys, that's the, um, how to set up a scene and everything. That's basically the basic of um, setting up a scene for Pi Game. Hope you guys enjoy, subscribe, and I'll release the next part where we actually move this. Um, well, where we actually move this rectangle with W, A, S, and D, all the arrow keys. Bye bye.